fellow wholehearted warriors, welcome to Hang with Hang. In today's video, I am going to share with you some simple keys how to deal with your unproductivity. Now, this is perfect for those of you who go through a funks of unproductivity and you can get out and it makes you really unproductive and it's going to it's escalating uh, downward in your performance. And being a wholehearted, I know how important it is to be efficient and being productive. So my intention of this video is to give you some insight that will perhaps get you out of this rut and to increase your productivity. So here is key number one, my friend, is that stop judging your unproductivity, the space that you're in. Now, it's so easy as a wholehearted high performers, we have certain expectations, certain standards, and when you don't meet them, right? We call ourselves lazy, we call ourselves uh, unproductive, useless. Some of my clients, they have some amazing story. Like, I'm useless, I have no purpose in this life, and you know how that spiral downward. So number one, we gotta stop that by stop judging yourself in that productivity, unproductivity. And number two is to really identify, okay, am I really legitimately lazy, right? Or do am I really need the rest? So the the space that you in the unproductive space that you in is your system way of nudging like hey hang hey John you need to rest you need to recoup so then you can be more productive. But then if you've been in a funk for days and you like am I legitimate lazy? So that's a different solution for that. Which leads to number three is to understand the difference between common cause and special cause. Now, common cause is something that happened on a regular basis, something in your control. Special cause is something happened out of the blue and most of the time outside of your control. Now, why is it important to understand the distinctions? Because what happened a lot of time for wholehearted people that I know is that we mix up the two. So we treat the common cause as a special cause and we treat the special cause common cause. And what do I mean by that? So common cause something in your control and most of the time, you know, uh, wholehearted people in my world, they have no problem taking responsibility, right? And, and actually the challenge they have is they take extra responsibility, which is when something happened outside of your control, if you taking responsibility for that, that, there's nothing you can do about it. You create unnecessary suffering of guilt and maybe even shame to come with that. So to understand the different in it. So maybe the space that you're in right now, the unproductive space you're in right now, is happened because something happened outside of your control. So your system needs some processing, some integration, some rest, and some recoup. So if that is the space, then allow yourself to let go of the thing you can control. Allow yourself the space to rest. Allow yourself to be unproductive as you are judging it but then if you don't judge it you can call it for what it is you simply are tired you simply need rest or you simply in the space of acceptance of this is the thing that's happening because the thing here is that acceptance cannot happen when you let go of judgment right that's why letting go of judgment is step number one in the very you got to let go of the judgment of, of you being unproductive okay so now, and if it is for some reason, it's a common cause, the common cause is something that you take responsibility and you, you take ownership of that, make the change of that. And if, if when it comes to somebody else, right, a lot of time wholehearted uh, have, a, have, have challenging of letting people taking responsibility for common cause. So you got to treat common cause, take responsibility on the thing you have control and let go of the thing you don't have control, understand the difference. And then take to key number four is my invitation is to shift the judgments of unproductivity into grace. So instead of calling this space unproductive time, lazy time, or time that I'm useless, my invitation is call this time a gracious time for yourself. A gracious time to have some compassion for yourself to give yourself space to rest to give yourself the space to temporary recoup so you can get back in the game because by you allowing yourself to invest in this one hour or two hour of rest in return it's gonna give you 10 or 10 days of productivity or 10 three day productivity 
instead of being sick by pushing through it, then what would you choose? So ultimately, you increase your productivity by learning how to deal with your unproductivity with grace, with space, with love, and with compassion. So my friend, with that, have some grace for yourself. Enjoy this temporary space and enjoy the productivity space when you get back to it. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much for being here. As always, I'm sending love from my heart to yours and from Hawaii to where you are in the world. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to the channel, set on notifications so we'll let you know when the next video will come out. And please feel free to share this video to, to as many hearts as possible. Until then, I will send you a lot of love. Aloha.